So when you declare a variable, uh, you can use var, and this is pretty much what's been available for since the beginning. Uh, but the thing about var is that it has these like weird quirks and tricks that you might not be aware of. Um, and it uses this concept of like function scoping and just, I'm not going to get too specific on what, what that means. Just note that it can cause behavior that uh, might not be intuitive to kind of how you would expect the application to run. But uh, there are two new uh, types of uh, declarations that we can use. There is let and const. Uh, let is basically the direct replacement of, of var. And const basically gives us the ability to create a constant. It's essentially the same as let, except that um, you can't reassign uh, the variable a, a value. You can't assign it something new. And as mentioned, uh, there's the use strict rules, uh, which I just demonstrated a second ago. It kind of adds extra rules just to make sure uh, that best practices and potential gotchas are checked for, um, and it won't allow your code uh, to continue running if it has those issues. It's actually just going to throw an error and stop in most cases. Uh, just be careful if you have an existing code base and you just go in and say, well, I'm going to use strict now because that's what Tyson said to do. And now all these errors are, are, are coming up. Uh, obviously, uh, in the existing code base, start uh, trying to, in dev, maybe turn use strict on and use that as a tool to figure out some areas that, you know, maybe maybe something kind of funky happened that you need to resolve. Uh, but don't just like hop into production and say, ah, use strict because that's better. Slowly implement that. So what exactly is let and const and what exactly is the difference between a functional scope and a block scope? All right, so I'm going to let salary equal 3000 and I'm also going to go ahead and log out salary. Um, and we should see that value happily loading no issue but i'm going to do something kind of kind of silly here uh, notice that i'm declaring num here i am going to grab this console.log and i'm going to put this before i even declared this value this variable we're going to go ahead and say save and we can see that it did actually log something uh, it logs undefined, but it didn't throw an error. Uh, and the reason for that is because this is functionally scoped, or it's a, this num is function scoped. And basically what that means is whenever I say var num, it's kind of like, or what JavaScript does at runtime, is it grabs this declaration, brings it to the very top of my page, and then does my assignment later. So now when you look at the code this way, it makes sense why it said num was undefined and didn't throw an error because it actually did have num available and it just hadn't been defined a value yet. And I save and run and we should expect to get the same result, undefined. Uh, and this idea, this thing that's happening here is called hoisting. Um, and this, this hoisting mechanic with var is I think what kind of causes some confusion. If I try to do the same thing with a with this let variable, so there's salary and I'll say save. Notice that I actually get an error here and it says can't access lexical declaration salary before it's been initialized. So if we're using let, then uh, it's gonna catch those different uh, issues for me, and, it, and it's going to make sure that um, our, our things are going to behave in the way that I would expect them to behave. Go ahead and reorganize that. So what exactly is the difference between const and, and um, let? Well, here I have a department. I'm assigning it an object. The object has a property of name and the actual value of name is accounting. Now, notice that 
um, I'm trying to change the property of name and I'm changing it to sales. So what do we think is going to happen here? Let's go ahead and log this or let's just save this. And I should see here that name sales, uh, the change happened. But wait a minute. I, I mentioned earlier that a constant was something that you know can't be assigned a new value. Well, when I say when I what we mean by assigned a new value, it's it's impossible for me uh, to say that department becomes equal to some new object, right? I'm trying to assign department a new thing. So let me go ahead and say save. And in this case, I should run into an error, um, and it says invalid assignment to a const. Uh, department is a constant. You can't assign it something new. But I think what I just demonstrated is that you can still mutate properties that are on that constant. So maybe you had you had assumed that everything on that object was 100% frozen because you used the keyword const. Just not true. Well, what you could do is there's a special property. If, if you truly want it to be uh, frozen, uh, there is a special uh, method that you can invoke uh, called freeze, or I guess it's a function. It returns a essentially a frozen object. So if I try to assign the name uh, to my, uh, so I created a vegetable of name tomato. Great. I'm going to try to change the name to a P, and then I'm going to go ahead and log that. Let's say save and run. Now, notice that uh, it says here that name is read only. Mm -mm, can't change that. I would like to point something out. The only reason that I have this error is this whole use strict uh, directive that I put at the top of my, of my JavaScript document. So if I comment this out, something kind of strange is going to happen. It's not going to alert me that I tried to change the value of something that's frozen. It just lets me do it and then just kind of ignores that that happened. Uh, even though uh, we can see in this, this last log statement here, when I log this vegetable, the name is still tomato, even though I tried to assign it something else. So another advantage of use strict is that it'll make sure that if you're doing something that's potentially problematic, uh, maybe you didn't even realize that it's happening, uh, you'll get more insight into, oh, actually, that's not working as I thought it, uh, as I expected it to work. 